We begin with this update. South Africa's inflation fell to 3.8% in September, its lowest in over three years, raising expectations for a central bank interest rate cut next month. Furthermore, the consumer price index remained steady with a 0.1% monthly increase, while transport costs saw a significant 1.1% drop, the first decline in 13 months. Additionally, analysts predict continued policy easing, potentially lowering the repo rate to 7% by mid next year. Stock market analyst Mushima Gama shares insights on the CPI data. So interest rates figures were released quite recently and what we're waiting for is announcement from the Reserve Bank on the 21st of November. But before I get into that, I just want to stress the importance of CPI figures because they are a measure of how healthy an economy is. And although we do need a little bit of inflation, too much of it is like asset to the growth of an economy in a sense that it erodes the value of a currency and it also pushes up the prices of goods and services quite drastically, which makes the standard of living for many unaffordable. Now, in order to reduce the effects of rising inflation, what the Reserve Bank will then do is increase interest rates. For the past two years, the Reserve Bank has been consecutively increasing interest rates in order to push to bring inflation back to that desired or mandated three to six percent range, which is the range in which the Reserve Bank feels will reflect a healthy economy. In September, the results came out, CPI figures came out and they were sitting at 3.38%, which is an improvement or reduction from August's figures, which were sitting at 4.4%, which then gives us a hope that the Reserve Bank will most likely cut interest rates further and the speculation is by an aggressive 50 basis points, which is equivalent to half a percentage. Our repo rate, which is the rate in which the bank charge the Reserve Bank charges banks, is sitting at 8.5%, and the prime rate, which is the rate in which banks charge us the consumers, is sitting at 11.5%. Now, by reducing inflation, rather it reducing interest rate, it means that we will then pay less for credit-based facilities, such as your credit cards, your home loans, your clothing accounts effectively we'll start seeing a difference or an increase in the disposable income we have the more interest rates are cut and speculation is that by first quarter um, 2025 interest rates may be cut anything between one percent or 1.25 percent which will then thankfully take us out of this um, inflation league rut and put us more on a favorable path of financial break that we all need